Hey guys, welcome back to True House Boss. Please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so I can bring you more work from home opportunities. In today's video, I have four data entry positions for you guys. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned throughout the entire video so that you can see all four of these data entry positions. Okay, so this is a deal entry specialist role, what they company call Warner Music Group, which a lot of you may know who that is. And this job is paying anywhere from 25 to $35 an hour. Although this is a fully remote position, it does require you to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. All right, so some more insight about the job description. So at Warner Music Group, they're a global collective of music makers and music lovers, tech innovators, and inspired entrepreneurs. They're just stating that they're a game changer, creatives, and they're passionate team members. They just want you to know that each team talent makes their collective bolder and brighter, and that they're guided by four core principles that underpin everything that they do across their diverse business. And those four um, underpins are just that music is everything, global growth, local expertise, innovation and insight, and that they're empowered by people. So this job listing is listed as temporary. It does not give a time frame. Sometimes a job will say temp up until a year or six months for this specific role. It does not. Oftentimes with some of these positions, they kind of want to fill out who that employee is, right? So maybe they'll have you on for six months. And if you're not a good fit for the team, they go ahead and let you know, okay, this is a six month um, position. But if, you know, things work out, we do have opportunity for further growth. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are looking for a little bit more stability, this may or may not be uh, that kind of position for you. But again, you'll find out more of those details as you interview for the actual position. Okay, so this is just telling you a little bit more about the team that you're going to be on. So you're basically going to be collecting and processing data um, for the company itself. This is telling you about the role. So it just states that the deal entry specialist will play a critical role in ensuring the accuracy of their data for their label rec recording, merchandise, distribution, and licensing agreements upon which all their departments rely on. You'll have to work directly with business affairs and the GDO to clarify key terms and help answer questions from all levels around the company. So some of your job responsibilities are gonna be things like keying in the data and the new rights administration database, which will flow into several downstream systems. You will need to interface directly with the attorneys to obtain clarification of contract language and business practices. You're gonna to have to submit deals to business and legal affairs for review, which includes making any necessary changes and resubmitting for approval. You're also going to have to be willing to bring a sense of urgency and excitement to the role. So overall, it just looks as though you'll be processing a ton of contract documentation. So let's look more into the type of experience that you'll need for this position. Okay, so they're looking for someone with one to three years experience in legal and or contract administration. You need to have a rights management or recording agreement experience, music industry experience, first-hand experience interpreting and summarizing various types of entertainment contracts. Um, so that's like recording license agreements, fan club, and so forth. You need to be able to demonstrate multitasking abilities without getting easily ruffled when priorities shift. And also you need to have strong interpersonal skills and entertainment industry knowledge. So if you have an interest in music, business law, and technology, then you'd be a great fit for this position. Let's scroll down and look at the salary. As you can see, $25 to $35 an hour. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head into those keywords so we can try and maximize our resumes. As you guys can see, there are five keywords that I've taken directly from the job listing itself. I would definitely screen capture or save this video so that you can go back and look at it later. Since we have so many jobs listings that we're going to take a look at today, we're going to go ahead and head into job number two. So let's go ahead and look at the second data entry position. Okay, so the second position is a data entry operator and it's with a company called Elevent and it is paying a little bit over $25 an hour. Okay, and we'll scroll down here just so we can look at the description of the job. So it's just stating you'll be responsible for operating a data entry device to key a variety of standard and or complex coded or uncoded business and statistical source data into a computer. And then your primary duties are gonna include things like you'll have to perform daily um, claims for the customers, request account adjustments, You'll have to provide superior quality outcomes by taking ownership of claims to ensure timely resolution or follow-up. You'll have to process about 250 to 300 claims per day, achieve and maintain an accuracy rate of 98%, and you'll have to foster a professional and positive attitude. Um, look, as you can see, guys, only a high school or GED is required for this position. Um, you have to have knowledge of claims operations, services, and the various operations of the organization, products, and services. You just need to have previous 
um, computer skills. So database systems, related software, word processing, spreadsheets, et cetera, is required. Um, so they're just so there's two tiers here. You can see there's a data entry operator two. You need to have a high school diploma for this one as well, and then just a minimum of two year data entry and customer service experience, which is not bad for positions like this. Also, their preferred qualifications is that you have a flexible work at home position. You know, T key ten key entry. Also, you need to be able to provide provide superior professional um, service to customers and make significant contrib contribution to work team as an independent contractor. You need to be able to process 135, 200 claims per day. And they just, this is talking about your metrics. So in other words, they're expecting you to meet a quota. Um, so at, rated at 98%. Um, and don't let that scare you. Again, I, I researched a little bit about this company. It doesn't seem too insane, but sometimes you have to meet certain quota for these uh, jobs because you're doing a ton of just data entries, not a lot of talking on the phone. And as you can see, we just passed the salary there, which there is a starting rate of, a, you know, about $11 and some change. But again, I always put the highest, the mid to highest salary because that's not what you have to take um, for these positions. So keep that in mind. Like I said, in another video, we're going to go over negotiating salaries so that you guys can understand how that works because sometimes they'll tell you, oh, you know, if they're giving you a rate of a minimum to a maximum, you want to try to hit that middle to high mark. You do not have to take a lower ending salary, especially in today's time where there's so much opportunity because sometimes with the remote positions, especially if you go through like a recruiter, they'll say, oh, everybody wants to work from home right now. So they're paying really low. Listen, there is always a way, you know, that's why I try to do these videos to show you guys that there are high paying positions that do not necessarily require a degree. You just need to have things like, a, um, you know, some sort of experience, uh, things of that nature. And there's even jobs I'll start to post soon where you have no experience and you can definitely start to make a higher salary. So this is just basically going over the benefits that the company offers. Again, this is not listed as a temporary position. So I think they are looking for someone full on um, or full time. So definitely, you know, consider that if you're looking for some more, you know, full kind of full on stability, this particular job uh, seems to offer that. I do believe you have to be vaccinated again. This is another COVID-19 vaccinated position. Um, so let's go ahead and look into the next role. This next data entry associate role is with a company called ExamWorks and it's paying about $18 an hour. So if you do have a medical background, so with medical bills, ICDs and CPTs, preference will be given to you over others. And that's just because they're looking uh, for someone with a medical background, but it's definitely open for all. They're saying that they're seeking medical billing savvy professional who is seeking to pick up important details and looking to thrive in a fast paced growing environment. This position is 100% remote and you must be able to work 8 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. The good thing about this company is that they're stating all of your equipment will be provided. Um, so all of your office equipment, your office phone, screen, keyboard, mouse, and virtual desktop will be provided. And then let's get into the responsibilities for this position. So you'll have to gather, organize, and prepare source documents for data entry into the appropriate system database. You'll also have to review data for discrepancies, missing pages or information, and resolve the discrepancies. You're going to have to enter both alphabetical and numeric data. You'll also have to follow data program um, security practices and procedures at all times, review data, routinely secure information by completing database backup daily. You'll have to perform other various clerical duties such as sorting, filing, emailing, and proofreading as required. Also, you'll have to maintain confidentiality of all personal and financial information at all times in accordance with HIPAA regulations and perform other duties as assigned. So kind of your typical data entry um, requirements for most data entry jobs. It doesn't look like there's anything too specific. Um, it, it does seem to be a medical facility, so a lot of HIPAA regulations there, but other than that, your typical requirements. And then this would be your qualifications for the job. As you can see, again, high school diploma or equivalent, you need to have a minimum of six months related experience they're also looking for, again, experience in medical office, but that's a preference. It's not a requirement for the position. And then more into the qualifications. So you just need to be able to complete knowledge of general computer, uh, fax, copier, scanner, and telephone. You also need to be knowledgeable of multiple software programs, like, you know, Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel, and the internet, which is your basics of basics. 
you must have a full understanding of HIPAA regulations and compliance. Guys, it's just basically like, um, basically confidentiality when it comes to medical um, information. That's something you can Google. So I would definitely encourage you to Google that information. You must be qualified typist with a minimum of 40 words per minute. I think most of you have that. All of us are using the internet so much. Um, other things like you have to be able to independently prioritize work activities and use time effectively. You must be able to maintain confidentiality. I'm sorry, efficiently. You also have to be able to work well under pressure and or stressful conditions. All right, guys, so let's look at the very last role. This last data entry role is with a company called Civic Plus, and it is paying a little bit over $18 an hour to $25 an hour. This data entry role is a contractor role, so that just means that you'll have to file a 1099 tax form, and more than likely they will not take federal withholdings. They may take state, but that's something to um, look into later once you get on with the employer. So let's look at the description for the job. So it does state um, that, you know, Civic Plus has been around for a while, um, more than 20 years of experience. Um, it looks like they have several customers, 12,000 customers plus, um, and they also utilize 100,000 plus local government users and 340 million residents in the U.S. and Canada alone. So um, the company has been around a while, and it just states that since 2011, Civic Plus has been named by Inc. Magazine as one of the fastest growing privately held companies in the U.S. Okay, so they're just looking for someone who is data-driven, innovative, and detail-oriented, um, and that this data entry position is part of their marketing team. So this is your responsibilities as a contractor. You'll have to work on the execution of inbound lead cleaning to the handoff of the sales team. You'll also have to maintain integrity of their CRM database, and you'll have to continue to add to their pool of accounts and contracts for their sales team to prospect via targeted data acquisition. You'll have to assign accounts and create leads for the account managers and business development specialists to upsell and cross-sell existing customers. Um, these are some of the requirements for the contractor role. You'll have to process a working knowledge of Salesforce or sim similar platforms. You'll also have to understand and distribute qualified leads using a territory map, and you'll have to drive a consistent approach for obtaining and consolidating sales data. Um, so again, easy, easy, easy. This is all the specifications for the job at the bottom. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. And another thing to keep in mind, I did not provide, um, you know, further keywords for all of the jobs because most of them are pretty much the same. But you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.